update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny, well, mostly sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. We got a mixed bag out there. The mix goes like this. The Dow's up 63. The S&P's up 3. The NASDAQ 100 down 41. Russell's off 2. Semi's off 15. Trendy's down 31. You've got gold off 3 bucks. Silver's up 21 cents. Light sweet crude is up a buck forty. We're looking at the October contract. I've switched the October contract for natural gas. That's up four pennies. Trade out at two seventy seven. A thirty year Treasury down nineteen ticks. Trade out at one eighteen twenty five. Let's go figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We begin the upper left hand side. The ES mini. What do we know about it? Well. It uh, negated its TD9 count bottom immediately. Price is trading right now with inside its bullish structured weekly profile. I'm just showing you the bullish structured profile support area. That's between 43.77 and 44.34. Spot volatility is still trading above its 50-day exponential moving average. It's trading above yesterday's high. That's not a real positive for the S&P 500. If we take a look at the NQ, it also negated. It's TD9 count bottom. And price is sitting at a real key level of support. You want to note this down in your pad of paper. That's at 14865 You want to watch that like a hawk, especially come Friday. U.S. dollar index yesterday and today still attempting to form that new daily profile. Right now, you've got a bullish structured profile res with resistance at 103.49. And the support range is between 101.97 and 102.35. We take a look at Goldilocks. It negated its TD9 count bottom pattern. There's a large A to B equal CD to the downside. This is the price target, which would be about 1838. So that is in play out there. It's in play. If we take a look at silver, silver still holding its TD9 count bottom, having a nice rally intraday, but running right into resistance. And that is at the top of its daily profile that is attempting to form. I won't know until 601 this evening whether this is going to take hold or not. But 2295 is, res is the resistance and supports at 2256. Lights free crude. Again, we're looking at the October contract price making as well. It did close below the bottom of its daily profile. That could be, this could be day number two so the level to watch there is going to be 8066 we're trading right now at 8043 the high of the day 8061 if price closes below that we could be signaling to us a move all the way back to 7244 price did find support at the center of its weekly profile and that's at the 7914 area at least it has as of now natural gas again we're looking at the october contract a second close here below that low that low is 278 that could suggest to move all the way back to 262 the 30-year Treasury negated its buy the D point pattern yesterday. Its next A to B equals CD target to the downside, about 117.13. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge Show. But if you have to start your Thursday, please have a terrific one. Take care now.